We used to think about the oceans as boundless, capable of producing limitless amounts of food and resources. But today we understand that that's not the case. All species in the ocean are interconnected. What we do to one species impacts other areas. The Linfest Ocean Program is a science grant-making program based at the Pew Charitable Trusts. Its mission is to work alongside scientists and managers to identify the most pressing questions facing the coastal and marine environment and to fund scientific research projects to fill those information gaps. We tackle fisheries issues around the world on how to create sustainable catches. We are looking at how climate is impacting species movements in the United States and also around the world and what impact that might have on coastal communities. I first learned about the Lenfest Ocean Program when they reached out to ask if I would have interest in pursuing a particular research project that they had prioritized. Our charge was to try to provide really practical, tangible advice of how to implement what we call fishery ecosystem plans, which we saw as a critical tool in order to do this thing that we call ecosystem-based fisheries management. The fundamental goal of ecosystem-based fisheries management is to think about the broad collection of goods and services that ecosystems provide, how we can continue to get those services while preserving them for future generations. Sharing research results and engaging with stakeholders is what sets the Lenfest Ocean Program apart. During one of those conversations, we learned of a need on the ground in the Caribbean where those research results could be used. My name is Graciela Garcia Moliner. I work at the Caribbean Fishery Management Council. Our latest endeavor is to actually prepare a fishery ecosystem plan. One of the things that is really important for this area is that we are all surrounded by water anywhere you look. We have a very high diversity of habitats within that very small area. We have an extreme diversity of species, not only those targeted by the fisheries, but also species that are prey to many other species that come by seasonally. The Caribbean is a very diverse place. Each island is very different in terms of the social context, the ecological context. So they were really realizing they needed to have a place-based management rather than a species-based management. Essentially what our report put forward was a blueprint of how do you navigate that landscape. Lenfest uh, came at a very good time for the process of implementing ecosystem-based fishery management in the Caribbean. One thing that we're lacking is the actual science-based monitoring of our fisheries. We've been collecting data from the fisheries for over 30 years, and we've been collecting environmental data on and off, or in some cases over that same period of time, but we've never actually put really the two together in terms of managing fisheries. We need to find out what is the balance that needs to be maintained in the marine ecosystem for it to function properly and to maintain the sustainable fisheries for the long term. Collaboration between scientists, managers, and stakeholders is essential because each party brings a different skill set to the table. We had a lot of members of the Caribbean Fishery Management Council executive staff, people involved in fisheries, people involved in the management, science, I was just so struck by how much everyone cared. The magic really happens when all those people come together and find solutions collaboratively. Seeing everyone get so involved and come forth and talk about it and contribute to the development of the models has been an amazing process. That is extremely important because the ecosystem is composed of many faces. And anyone who uses any one of the marine resources will have something to say. Together, that group of individuals can bring their expertise to best answer the questions facing the marine environment. Lenfes has provided the opportunity to open up the floor to more stakeholders all contributing to the same effort to actually produce the fishery ecosystem plan that will provide the uh, decision makers with enough information 
to then be able to manage it in a sustainable way. And I think that it's going to really be very important for the wider Caribbean. The Lindfest Ocean Program will continue to build upon these collaborations and support useful and usable science that leads to evidence-based decision-making to support healthy oceans, the planet, and our future.